Welcome everyone to today's CCK update. Today we're breaking down CCK's strategy to request a waiver of the duty to assist in select cases before the Board of Veterans Appeals. The primary goal of CCK's waiver strategy, which we'll discuss in more detail in just a few moments, is to speed up the appeal process for claimants who are experiencing increasingly long wait times before the board. So first, let's define what the duty to assist is. The phrase duty to assist describes VA's obligation to help veterans develop their claims. The duty to assist requires VA to assist veterans in gathering evidence that could help to prove their claim for benefits, such as service records, medical records, VA examinations, and VA medical opinions. The duty to assist is one example of the proclaimant and non-adversarial nature of the VA system, and veterans are entitled to VA's assistance in gathering evidence that could help to support a favorable decision on their claim. The duty to assist applies to initial claims or supplemental claims that are pending before VA's regional offices. While it does not apply in the same way to the Board of Veterans' Appeals in the AMA system, the board is still required to ensure that the regional offices are fulfilling their duty to assist claimants. If the board finds that a regional office made a duty to assist error, it can remand the case and instruct the regional office to fix that error. While the board is not obligated to remand cases for additional development, it often does, and board remand rates are seemingly at an all-time high, with approximately 44% of legacy appeals and 28% of AMA appeals remanded so far in fiscal year 2023. Zach, talk to us about why the high remand rate is a problem. This is problematic because each remand means that veterans must wait even longer for a final decision to be made on their claim. Essentially, appeals are being cycled through multiple levels of VA's system with no real resolution. And in the AMA, cases that cannot be advanced on the board's docket can take years to be decided. So while veterans are waiting for years for a board decision and that board decision ends up being a remand, that simply sends the case back to the regional office for more development. It can feel as though the wait time for a final resolution on a case is never ending. This is where CCK's waiver strategy comes into play. To address ongoing delays, to minimize unnecessary wait times for veterans, and to hopefully avoid unnecessary board remands, CCK is arguing to the board that claimants have the right to waive the duty to assist in some cases. We believe that if an appeal is at the board, and if the record is fully developed, meaning that the file contains enough favorable evidence warranting a grant of benefits, a veteran should have the right to waive any additional development under VA's duty to assist. In cases where we assert this waiver, even if the board finds that additional development is necessary to decide a pending claim, we are arguing that the claimant has the right to both refuse a duty to assist remand and also to receive a final decision from the board based on the existing record. In our experience, and in so many cases, the board's duty to assist remands, unfortunately, do not yield a positive result for the veteran in the long run. Remands for more information that isn't even necessarily favorable to the claimant simply hold up the process for veterans who have already been waiting, oftentimes years, for a decision. If the purpose of the duty to assist is truly proclaimant, and if it is meant to be a benefit to a veteran to assist with claim development, then veterans should be able to waive the benefit that is statutorily provided for them if their record is fully developed. CCK will continue to provide updates as our legal strategy progresses. In the meantime, please check out our recent videos to learn more about the state of the legacy and AMA dockets at the board, and to better understand why we believe that legal action of this kind is necessary. Thank you all for joining us today and stay tuned in the future for more updates.